Hi everyone, today I'm going to be doing a book review of, drumroll please, Be Switched by Kate Saunders. So I've read one book of Kate Saunders and I did a review about it called The Wolf Wilder. So you might want to check that video out. But for this video, I'm going to be reading the blurb, the first chapter and a few reviews if you do get to it. Let's start from the blurb. If you don't know what a blurb is, Check one of my videos and I'm sure I'll give you an explanation of what it's about. Let's start. Flora Fox, accidental time traveller. A magic spell has spun Flora into the past. She's mysteriously swapped lives with a schoolgirl in 1935. No iPod, no mo mobile, no hair products. How will she survive? Now Flora's a new girl at Tally Ho Tastic, St. Wilfred's, where she has to speak French at breakfast, wear hideous baggy bloomers, and sing, sleep in a freezing dormitory. But lots of adventures in the past are amazing, though not forever. How will she find her way back in the 21st century? Hmm. So I'm going to read you the first chapter. And the dedication is for Joanna. It doesn't say anything else. Let's start. Rock bands and ponies. At least look at the picture, Flora's dad begged. Don't you want to know what to expect? He pushed a gl glossy brochure across the table at a photo of the cover of a large white house on, the, on a very green lawn and words Penrith Hall, individual, fluent in ho home like a smoke bear. Flora scowled and pushed it back. It doesn't matter what I expect, does it? Not unless I have a chance about going there. Her father opened his mouth to say something, but his mother gently touched his arm to stop him. All he means, she told Flora, is that he might like it. Well, I won't. Nothing on earth would make me like it, Flora said. Dad let out a long sigh. It was half a groan. He looked anxious and exhausted, and even more ancient than usual. He had not had time to shave that morning, and bristles on his chin were grey. The fact that he had, was a million years older than everyone else's dad had always been an embarrassment to Flora. Her mother was though not such a relic, or but do also look annoyingly old. Flora was angry at them. Why couldn't they fix this disaster? Why were they just being wimps? They kept saying sorry, but what good was that when they refused to change anything? I need another coffee, Dad said, standing up. Flora, do you want anything else? Another croissant? Oh, sorry, I lost where I was. Another croissant? No, Flora snapped. Stop trying to stuff me with food. You want me to be as fat as well as miserable? We are fine, Mum assured him. Don't rush, darling. There's plenty of time. They were on the coffee shop at the station. Flora's gleaming new black backpack and laptop case lay there. Plenty of time, Mum muttered, muttered again. Looking at a watch, I really think we'll be fine. Though we're going off to dash for our plane after we've seen you off. She leaned across the table. Flora, please don't be so hard on Dad. He's having a horrible time at the moment. He's having a horrible time? What about me? Flora's voice was tight with fury. My entire life has been destroyed. Don't exaggerate, her mum said. I've been separated from all my friends. My house is being torn apart. And my bedroom and my flora for the very first time. Her mum, mother's voice had a hint of snap. We're both desperately sorry about this whole situation. But there isn't a thing we can do about it. So don't you think you should be trying to expect it? No, Flora said. Why do I have to go to boarding school? I've told you a million times, Mum said. Obviously, tr 
straining to be patient. We don't know how long we have to stay in Italy or how long the builders are going to be at home. This is the only way we can cope. And it's only two turns at the most. Why do we have to go to Italy? Stop it, Flora. You know perfectly well why. Because Granny broke her hip and can't take care of herself. And because we've got to sell her house and a hundred years worth of furniture. And Lord knows when the new flat will be ready at our own house. Why would you have to make it so difficult? Are you really so selfish that you've been making all this fuss about two terms at boarding school? A very luxurious, expensive boarding school, I might add. The unfairness was of this was so enormous that it took Flora's breath away. You and Dad are the selfish ones. You decided everything without asking me. Her mother looked suddenly very tired. Okay, what would you have done differently? This was even more fair. Knowing what to do was their job. I don't know why Granny has to come and live here with us. She's your dad's mother and she's alone. So, I wonder how her Granny has a broken hip. And I wonder Flora will change to a stubborn heart to a soft one. And I wonder where she's going. What happened to her house? Well, read the book to find out. So I'm going to read some reviews. Oh, there aren't any reviews. <laughs> There's only one, so I'll read that one. Magic. Time travel. A funny and touching story. This book has it all. Eva a box in. So I'm going to give you my review of the book. So this book is a very touching book and there's a connection to it all and one thing that's very special about it I can actually picture what's happening on mine since the description is good what's happening is very easy to understand and there's not much like danger going on the book so it's very easy to follow and you can picture what's happening in your mind I don't want to tell you anything since I don't want to spoil it but she's going on a train and I can picture the train go chugga choo choo in my mind. So it's very easy to picture it, as I said, and very easy to follow. So that's the two special things about this book. So I think that's all of my book review today. And I hope you have fun if you do read this book. But for now, I have to say goodbye. Bye bye.